the mom had tears streaming down her face because you knew, you just knew, this was the first time that she and her family were welcome at a Broadway show. And when I saw that, I thought, man, we have got to do this in Cleveland. We have got to do this at Playhouse Square. Sensory Friendly Performances are special shows that are adapted from a typical performance to be more welcoming to folks with sensory needs. Sensory Friendly Performances are designed really for anyone with any sensory needs. It can be for guests who are on the autism spectrum. It can be for anyone who just wants to have a more calm or relaxed performance environment for themselves. There actually are two different components of a sensory friendly performance. There's what happens on the stage and then there's what happens in the front of the house. On the stage, sensory friendly shows make adjustments to be more welcoming. So for example, you'll notice right away the house lights are remain dimly lit throughout the performance so things don't get too dark. The sound levels are often turned down a little bit, maybe even as much as halfway, so things don't get too loud. Sometimes special effects are changed or even eliminated. And then there's the front of house, which is where I do most of my work. We'll have welcoming tents set up in the lobbies. We'll have areas where people can calm down, special quiet rooms, rooms where people can let off steam. We'll have special volunteers with fidget toys and hearing protection to hand out to our guests. Really, the most important thing is it's a judgment-free environment. Playhouse Square is a nonprofit organization, so I think it's important that we serve the widest possible audience. There's over 330 million people who live in this country. Over 600,000 of those folks are deaf, and so Playhouse Square has special sign-interpreted performances. We also have probably over a million people who are blind in this country, and so Playhouse Square will offer special performances that are audio described. Over three million folks are seated in wheelchairs. You'll notice through all of our theaters that there are wheelchair accessible ramps and complete accessibility. There are over seven million people in America who are on the autism spectrum. So that's a lot of folk to serve. It's important that Playhouse Square is accessible to the widest possible audience. If we're gonna serve diverse audiences, if we're gonna have equity, if we're going to be inclusive, it's important that folks with sensory needs feel welcome and valued at Playhouse Square. The sensory friendly performances have a strong, powerful, beautiful impact. People are so appreciative that Playhouse Square cares enough to offer this type of special performance. I've had friends who work at other theaters in town ask for us to come in and have sessions and provide guidance so that they can have sensory friendly offerings for their guests too. So it is really important, I think, and it just spreads far and wide. My personal story of why sensory friendly performances are important to me um, starts actually before I started at Playhouse Square 10 years ago. My son, Aiden was having a birthday party and his best friend at that time, a young man named Anthony, was on the autism spectrum. The day of my job interview here at Playhouse Square, I was a little nervous that morning and as I was looking around the bedroom I saw a photograph of my son with Anthony with his hand over his shoulder. I don't know why, I grabbed it and I stuck it in my bag. And then I came to my job interview. And one of the questions that I was asked is, do you have any ideas for programs? I pulled that photo out and I passed it around the interview table. And I said, I would like my son's best friend to be welcome where I work. And I accidentally choked myself up when I said that and I couldn't speak for a minute. And then the incoming board president swooped in and rescued me with another question. The second part of that story would be, when I experienced my first sensory friendly performance. And that was at a Disney performance of The Lion King in Pittsburgh. I remember sitting in that theater and the opening number starting. Seated over my left hand shoulder behind me was a woman with her daughter. And the daughter had hearing protection on and the parade was coming down to their left. And she was trying to do two things at the same time. She was trying to reach out and touch the giraffe that was walking by her but at the same time, she was also burying her head in her mother's arm. The mom had tears streaming down her face because you knew, you just knew, this was the first time that she and her family were welcomed at a Broadway show. And when I saw that, I thought, man, we have got to do this in Cleveland. We have got to do this at Playhouse Square. So I'm just so, so proud that it's something that we've embraced.